Good evening. Thank you for your patience and your wakefulness. In my written testimony on September 17th, I argued that reviewers who had rejected the McGraw-Hill and Pearson High School biology text on the claim of factual errors uh, were wrong. And I gave evidence that the reviewers' objections were unfounded. There were, of course, numerous other objections to these texts as well as to others, most of them based on the treatment of evolution, and all of these by reviewers who have openly challenged evolutionary theory and rejected the science that supports it. There are absolutely no good reasons for you to follow their advice and reject these texts, so don't do it. The texts have been vetted by scientists and science teachers. They have been endorsed by the TEA as meeting the requirements for adoption. They're not all without flaws. They're not all equally well written, and they certainly include some that are not particularly well illustrated for today's visual learners. But if they pass muster in the teaks and are not factually flawed, then your duty is not to decide on behalf of the teachers in districts, but rather to give the superintendents and principals and teachers the final choice. They, not you, are the experts in content, and the one thing you must be wary of is standing up to the experts. Don't do it. Finally, don't reject a text on the basis of ideology. Remember that scientific theories are judged not on the basis of the ideology they, su they support, but by the ideas they test. Our students must come to understand this, then they cannot do this if you reject texts which encourage this freedom of thought. So don't do it. Thank you. Board members? All right. Um, yes, Ms. I just want to thank Ron for uh, your help, and uh, I remember the good old days when we were <laughs> updating the, the scientific the science uh, curriculum. You were a lot of help, and I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. I appreciate thank that. You.